The combination of multiple interaction techniques, such as speech and gesture, open a new world of experience. However, our current understanding about how to design and evaluate multimodal user interfaces is still primitive. At Clipsimag, we have developed NEMO, a digital usability lab, to observe and analyze multimodal interaction experimentally. Using the NEMO platform involves a two-step process. In phase one, called the experimentation session, a subject executes a set of scenarios on a dedicated workstation. Several wizards located in a different room observe the subject through their own workstation. Meanwhile, behavioral data about the subjects and wizard annotations are recorded digitally using the QuickTime format. NEMO records information at various levels of abstraction from keystroke levels such as mouse events to high-level tasks such as sending a fax. In phase two, behavioral data are used by HER specialists to assess the usability of the system as well as to identify the usage of multimodality. This video shows NEMO in action for testing a multi-service telecommunication terminal prototype with HyperCard for France Telecom. Three wizards will be used. The speech wizard will simulate speech recognition. The task wizard will simulate the friend called by the subject. And the annotation wizard will record annotations on the fly. You are looking at the screen of the subject. On the right, a palette of telecommunication tools can be triggered by direct manipulation. Calling someone from the palette, calling someone from the directory, hanging up, sending a fax, browsing the directory to get the correspondence fax number. These tools can also be used with speech or a combination of speech and direct manipulation as shown next. Call this person. The speech wizard comes into play to interpret the multimodal command. To do so, he can hear the subject talking, Call this person. a beep rings to denote the end of the speech act, and a miniature reproduction of the subject screen allows the speech wizard to track the subject acting on the mouse and the keyboard. The speech wizard translates the subject's multimodal command using direct manipulation on the miniature screen. Feedback is immediately provided on the subject screen and the phone rings at the task wizard's workstation. The task wizard, who plays the role of the called person, now comes into play. The task wizard picks up the phone. In this scenario, the task wizard will incite the subject to use the V-phone and mirror facilities. By the way, maybe we, we can use the V-phone so I can see you sometime. Sure. Um, can you check the field of the camera? I can't see you well. OK, let me try. Oh, I always make the mistake. The subject has problems selecting the mirror function. The annotation wizard, who can observe the subject through his own miniature screen and sound, records a comment about the subject's hesitations. It's a non-blocking error, and it is related to a lack of affordance of the mirror button. Okay, anyway, yesterday I tried to send you fax, but with no success. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. My fax number has changed. Do you want a new one? This sequence okay, shows right how Nemo supports right. interleaving at the okay, task level. While talking on the phone, the subject edit her directory. Three nine seven five. Did you get it? Okay, that's that's one. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. The scenario is now over. The annotation wizard sets an overall assessment about the execution of the scenario, the subject's satisfaction, as well as his own satisfaction. Having recorded behavioral data, we are now able to use the analysis tool. You are looking at the screen of the analysis tool. In its current form, the tool displays the list of scenarios executed during the experimentation, annotated with the overall assessment, 
specified at the end of the experimentation session. For each scenario, the tool provides quantitative data such as start time and duration and the list of tasks executed by the subject. In this example, the plot diagram for scenario 1 shows that four tasks were executed in an interleaved way. The diagram is enhanced with bubbles that reveal the annotation's content. Here, the analyst discovers a lexical error that looks interesting. He double-clicks it to position the digital VCR on the corresponding frame. This is a previous version of the user interface for the telecommunication terminal. The tool provides additional browsing facilities based on time. The analyst can also position the VCR on a specified error. Here, the next lexical error made by the subject. Finally, quantitative data can be exported towards a spreadsheet program for statistical visualization. To summarize, Nemo is a usability digital lab supporting multiple wizards. Wizards as observers, wizards as simulators, wizards as annotators. It permits the observation and analysis of multimodal interaction, recording keystrokes up to task level information. As for perspectives, we will conduct experiments to study the relevance of multimodality for telecommunication tasks. We also need to find the balance between digital and analog recording to conciliate precision, volume of data recorded, and potentiality for automatic analysis tools. Mm -hmm.